Welcome to the ATP Project. You're with your host, Steve. And we've got you back, Nick. Nick. Good. It's awesome, yes. isn't it? Yes, I'm back to stay. Oh, God, this is great news. No, we're going to have so much Because you're a naturopath too. I am a naturopath. You've got a massive brain. Yeah, well, yeah, I've got a brain <laughs> in my tiny head. I have a small oh, head. You have got a small head. You I, keep saying that. I know, that. I do keep saying that, yeah. You I, have got... a, I have a smallish, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, Vanessa's agreeing with me. <laughs> Goodness me. I knew, you know, you keep saying that and I go, I can't see it. I no. honestly can't see it. Well, I mean, you don't have a massive head, Steve, so. I have got, I've got you a big head. It's not massive, no. Oh, it's big, though. It's just average. I've cut up my hair short to compensate yes. and I'm going bald to even compensate oh, further. Compensate more. Well, that's yeah. going to make it look bigger. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, more, mm. more skin area. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Well, speaking of myself aging, mm. today we're going to talk about what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the amazing Shilajit. Did you just swear? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, did I did not. You say I'm full of. I did <laughs> not. Say, no, I did not say you're full of. <laughs> what, what are we I talking about? Is, what is, what uh, is so Shilajit. So Shilajit's been around for a long, long time. Would you would you like to know the um, Sanskrit? I, I want word to know the Sanskrit term for Shilajit. What, yep. what Shilajit means in Sanskrit, which is a uh ayurvedic indian yep. language um it means conqueror, conqueror of mountains and destroyer of weakness <laughs> <laughs> sounds like some sort of game of thrones type thing doesn't it you know i'm already taking this stuff you are you yeah i thought you looked like a conqueror of mountains and a uh, destroyer of weakness <laughs> <laughs> beck my wife listens to this and she's gonna go that's no, no <laughs> he's, he's not that um but anyway, it's funny because Shilajit, I've got a description of Shilajit here, and this is published in Andrology. I love this one. It's a pale brown to blackish brown exudate that oozes from sedentary rock. <laughs> or what? <laughs> Large of the Himalayas. That sounds beautiful, sounds amazing, doesn't it? amazing, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's also known as sweat of mountains <laughs> right. or mountain blood or rock juice. Rock juice. And I'm not joking. Wow. And does um, it not also smell like cow's urine? Oh, it stinks. <laughs> It's disgusting. We're really selling it, aren't we? It does sound like uh, pee because it, traditionally it's used for the urinary tract uh, problems, mm. which includes males' urinary tract, which we'll get to in a second. Yes. It's good for edema, tumors, muscle wasting, epilepsy, and even insanity. Oh, well, there you go. Hang on. Didn't you say you've been taking it, Steve? Yeah, I, I know. It's, working. it's not working. <laughs> no. uh, uh, <laughs> but there's one reason, well, there's many reasons why I take it, but one of the reasons, and this will go to our first paper here, it's titled, and this will give it away, Clinical evalu- Evaluation of Purified Shilajit on Testosterone Levels in Healthy Volunteers Aged 45 to 55. Oh, that's your uh, it's your genre there, Steve. It's funny, I'm just in the genre. You are just, you only just <laughs> made it in. <laughs> it's just, I was still, it's still good for me. That's right. But, but they, they tested this, and, and this is what I love about this. So, so they gave it to healthy people my age, and they gave it at half a gram or 500 milligrams a day. Uh, for 90 days, and it showed that it boosts testosterone in men. Now, I'm going to give you the number here. Mm-hmm. By total testosterone, by 23.5%. Wow. That's massive. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, and um, it really is good for, for men for that as well. So it certainly does boost testosterone. So it's mm. well known as a testosterone booster mm. um, and, and really good for men because you're going to love this. Total sperm count increased by 61 Point four percent. Wow, that's huge! It's huge, isn't it? It's a massive amount. It's a massive amount. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how else we describe say. that as sixty-one percent right. sperm. A that's a large so, amount. So, if you want jump. more sperm, you don't. I don't. No, no, I no don't. But, but there <laughs> may be there may be listeners, and I'm not looking at Nicole. But there may be listeners out there who want more sperm. That's right. This is the herb for you. I, right. I love it because it's it's it really is a man's herb uh, mm. because of of this sort of thing. But apparently, it's good for the chicks too. Is it? it can be good for the chicks as well. Yes, particularly mm. postmenopausal chicks. Oh, can be so really good age for them. 45, forty five. Forty five. So that's also my age group, Steve. Oh, I'm only. Oh, you are too. I'm only age. just in it, but so, I'm so you're actually, in no, my I'm age smack group. bang in the middle. Actually, yeah, I know. yeah. I know. I was going to say I've only just made it in, but I can't lie about that. I've been in. <laughs> You I'm can in the lie middle. as she puts her glasses <laughs> on. My glasses on to read my piece of So I actually have a study here on Shilajit um, for postmenopausal women. So uh, the study was on, um, it was in the, some journal, which we'll cut out because I can't find it. Uh, so the, the study was on postmenopausal women. Yep. So showing that Shilajit 
Shilajit extract reduces oxidative stress, inflammation, and bone loss to dose dependently preserve bone mineral density in post menopausal women with osteopenia. Osteopenia means means not osteoporosis, which is the bad bones, but just yeah. weakened or, or less bone. So it's sort of a progression more. towards osteoporosis. Yeah. So which is obviously can be a very big problem for postmenopausal women because they're losing their estrogen, which has that bone protective effect. Hmm. So um, she legit showing that it actually can improve bone density in postmenopausal women, which is amazing, and it's such a you know a simple thing to add into your. Protocol. Yeah, and and that was a randomised placebo controlled trial, yeah. and yeah. it reduced inflammation. So as yeah. as we age, not yep. looking at you, but as I age, <laughs> you get more inflammatory processes. In fact, today I've got an inflammatory thing in my back. It's sore for some reason. Yeah. You know how I did it? Yeah, you're you were bending over to pick your glasses up. <laughs> so I was unpacking the dishwasher this morning. Oh, no, <laughs> you know, you know when you get old, you yeah. get injured by blinking. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yes. like me. You know, you wake up with these things like, oh, I slept funny, and that's an injury. Yeah, that's like, oh yeah, it never happened when I was younger, but no. but now, and, and so so this stuff reduces the inflammation. Yes. And and so it's going to take that away, and also oxidative oh, stress. Yeah, oxidative stress as well. Yeah, so which is another thing that you know we we get more of as we age. So I mean, the reason we age is because of inflammation, oxidative stress. They're the reasons why we start to degrade. So. Exactly. You've heard of the term inflammaging. That's right. Yeah. We um we we did a podcast so on it, I think many years ago, billions mm-hmm. of years ago. Um. So so aging is is terrible, mm-hmm. but um the other good thing about um. What, what happens to men as we age is something else fails to function, failure to launch. How do <laughs> yes. I put this? What do I? How do I describe this? The second brain. Yeah, the second brain in men. It's yeah. As, as we age, <laughs> it you goes know, down literally. It goes down. It goes south. Um, <laughs> so, does everyone know what we're talking about? We don't need to explain. Do I don't even need to, talk I don't about need to mention the actually P word. Say what it is. All right, good. Yeah. Well, inside your. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wish I didn't have to look at you when I said the word. Penis. We were trying to probably we were trying to find a graphic, but we couldn't, oh, we, couldn't, just... we couldn't find a graphic to explain what we're talking about. Yeah, it was decent enough to show not a graphic of what we're talking about, but the internal parts. The graphic was too graphic. The graphic was too graphic. Yeah, <laughs> we we couldn't put it up. <laughs> no, but but in the Journal of um, uh, American Men's Health, which is where this paper was published, they tested um, chilajit on a certain tissue that's found in a certain male and female body parts. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can say the word, the, the corpus callosum, which is a, a tissue that is engorged with blood during certain times mm-hmm. of activity. Yes. I mean, we, we, we're still G-rated, are we? <laughs> I think we're still G-rated. Good, we're good. We're still skirting around it. So so, so we found that, um, you know, in, in rats' penises, mm-hmm. because that's what you test it on, because mm-hmm. um, you can't cut open a human penis. For some reason, they don't allow that. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> Boring. But but anyway. They found that the, the chilajit actually induces, um, you know, blood engorgement in those certain tissues. Mm. So it's been traditionally used for an aphrodisiac and great for men's sex, and we talked about testosterone and sperm, but it helps with the delivery of the sperm. There we go. There you go. Is that a G-rated? That's, that's a that's, G-rated de- that's, <laughs> description. That's I love it. Good job, Steve. That's a good one. So, so now you've got to remember this tissue is in men, but it's also in women as well. It is in women as well. So yeah. it may help women with their um, mm. activities. It might. Yes. You know what activities we're talking about? Well, I know what activities we're talking about, definitely. But, but um, yeah. women also uh, may want to look better too. They may want to look better. And what's a, what's a good way to look better is to look at your, how good your skin looks yes. and how do we improve our skin as we age because well, that can be a big put factor. creams and crap on it, don't All we? All sorts and... of stuff we put on top of it. But what about something internal, Steve, that might help? So, well, what could that well, be? Well, how about we try some Shilajit? Shilajit? Yes. Because that's actually been shown to improve type 1 collagen synthesis. Oh, hey, with type 1, there's 24 types of collagen. There is type 1 and type 3. Type 1 is the one for the skin. It's the most abundant in the body. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. It's it's a really good one. So in that trial, I think it was an eight-week trial. Eight-week trial, yeah. So a randomised control trial was done and uh, basically... Let me see, because I've just put my glasses back on. So, um, so eight weeks of daily supplementation with either 500 milligrams a day and 1,000 milligrams of j- a day of shilajit versus placebo. Um, it's basically increased serum um, pro C one A one C one A one, which is That's a the marker. Um, it's a marker, mm. so uh, for um, precursor for um, collagen synthesis, and it showed that. Um, 
it showed increases in serum pro C181 from pre to po, uh, post supplementation um, in the low and high doses. However, no change for the placebo. Yeah, Great. so it works in, in 500 or 1,000. 500, 1,000 and- milligrams a day. Yep, and it's problem. over eight weeks, so you'll get yeah. collagen synthesis and in your skin. Yeah. So that's all over your body. Mm. So you know, you know, you, you've heard of hyaluronic acid hour. You put you, you don't use any I beauty use products because no. you're beautiful it's enough. Natural. You, know, don't <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any of that. No. Stuff. But if you put hyaluronic acid around here yes. and around here, you get a uh, um, certain less wrinkles and a fuller face, and you look younger and all this sort of stuff. Mm. So um, you know this. Taking internally after eight weeks, you actually get synthesis of not just fluid retention there, but you get more collagen production, which mm. is what we're all after. That's right. Only after eight weeks. Yeah, which is not very long. And as a side effect, your bones will grow strong. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Reduce oxidative stress. Yep. It'll that's, help your erections too. That's right. Yeah. That's so Every woman wants, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> maybe some don't. Well, maybe some <laughs> maybe don't. Some. You know, you think. But, but it gets better than that. Because um, this paper on, on Shilajit, and, it, and the title, again, says ultra review paper, but it's very, very good for your brain as well. Mm-hmm. Shilajit has been found to have a, a pro-cognitive activity. So it's a natural fighter complex with pro-cognitive. So, so this paper goes on and talks about all the studies where they've tested it on the brain, and it's absolutely remarkable how it works in the brain. Mm-hmm. So, you know, take the ageing person like me, let's say, and let's say, you know, after the age of, you know, you, you start to slow down a bit, even yes. at 54 I am, I'm, you know, it's not like I'm 18 again. That's right. Oh, I wouldn't want to be 18 again. No, not these days. Oh, jeez. I couldn't cope. Oh, just the, we had, we had a, one thing on your mind. Oh, and it wasn't right, study. Okay. Yes, yeah, so mine yeah. was shopping. So yeah, oh, you were just shopping. Yeah. Oh, it's the completely correct way. <laughs> so, so this has you know in this paper in the International Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. There's a clue where I'm going here. Mm. The fulvic acids which are found in shilajit is, is found to be an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, a memory enhancer, mm. which is good, but also an anti-tau protein which are those proteins that build up in your brain mm. and what they found was reduction in alzheimer's disease wow how good is that that's amazing so it helps your second brain we'll wow. call it the second brain second brain first, first brain, brain. Well, it depends who you're talking to really so chilliger has, has got this great effect in older people mm. you know so far and and we've got more papers to go but but i mean just incredible how, how that works isn't it how mm. it's got you know chilliger is absolutely fantastic for um you know for, for, for aging and, and cognition. Mm. Now, you mentioned another paper on, on skin before. Yeah. There's an amino acid called hydroxyproline, mm. which is only found in very few foods, namely collagen. Yes. So um, let's say you're a, um, say you're a vegan. I mm. mean, I don't know where they come from, but you, know, but you need hydroxyproline. You do. Yeah. yeah. Can you think of another way to get hydroxyproline for your skin? Aside from collagen? Yeah. I'm going to test you here. Oh, gee. Can you think of a herb that boosts hydroxyproline? Mm, gee, let me think for a minute. Yeah. Could it be shilajit? It could be shilajit. <laughs> I mean, isn't that incredible? That's amazing. It's, it's amazing. What can it not do? I know. And and but, but the key about this one in this particular study is that it's great for your muscle mass. It is great for your muscle mass. So how yes. good and what is it? Do you notice how I rippled my... Yeah, I know. I almost got knocked hey, out then this actually is good as soon as you Because placed, the, you know? the cameras are on the right side and my right muscle is bigger because I'm right-handed. Oh, is not that right? Not much bigger because neither of them are bigger. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> look at that for hydroxyproline. Wow, well, look at that. It's like a mountain. It's like a boulder, Steve. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? <laughs> it it's like the like the boulder where the shillage oozes That's out. That's right. Of. It's like the uh, what, what are you? What are you? <laughs> yeah, I can't even find it now. The, you're the conqueror of mountains with those boulders, Steve. <laughs> oh my God, it's embarrassing, um, isn't it? So. Let's say you're an athlete because you were a bodybuilder, weren't you? I was a body sculptor, Steve. Sculptor, yes, that's right. And it was the year 2000? It was when I started, yes. The yeah. year 2000 when I started showing my age. It's weird talking about. I well, started when I was still in nappies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did, yeah, because yeah. you're only 23 now, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Turned yeah, so. 23 for the 10th time. <laughs> 20th time last year, actually. 20th time. <laughs> yeah. A few more than that. Be 20 yeah, yes, thanks, Steve. Anyway, It'll be more than that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you you topped yourself in with your age before. I did too. That's you right. You said, "Oh, you're 44 to 45." And you're in the middle 45 of that. 45 to oh. 55. I am in the middle. Not yeah. yeah I'm nearly smack bang in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they gave you know after eight weeks they gave this shillage to these people worked out to fatigue and what happened? Did it improve them or did it do nothing? Yeah. So after eight weeks, the result the result showed that uh, 500 milligrams a day of shilajit, a shilajit promoted the retention of maximal muscle. Uh, muscular strength following the fatiguing protocol and decreased baseline hydroxyproline. Yeah, so it was so, taken up in the muscle mass. Yeah, so it was. It's brilliant for that. So, so, so what that? it did is, it, it, what this basically does, it improves athletic performance. Mm. Now, you could go back a few things. Yeah, boost testosterone, but it helps your muscles as well. So, if you're a keen gym goer, mm. like let's say you're me and you're 54 and you're a man mm. who wants better testosterone. Better muscle mass. I want all this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Better arrangement. Um, I had to say, better cognition. Yes. Um, and I want to look good. Mm. And I want my bones to be strong. Mm. And I want to reduce inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. How good is it? I mean, it's, go -to, it's like it? that's sort of it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's it. And yeah, yeah it, the only problem is, and you mentioned it, we've mentioned all these studies, it's a half a gram a day. Yes. That's a whopping big dose of shilajit because yeah. it tastes like the name. Mm. Shilla jit. Yes. Shit. Shit. It tastes awful. <laughs> it's, well, it's brown ooze it's very stuff. Bitter from, and, oh, yeah, it's very bitter. It's disgusting. Nice. Yeah. So, we, you know, but you need half a gram. Mm. Now, if you can take that every day, mm. then you're going to improve yourself. And it's also good for certain medical conditions too, mm -hmm. which is in this case infertility in, in, the, in the International Journal of Andrology. Mm -hmm. um, they found that even if you're not producing much sperm, um, let's say you're producing below 20 million per mil, which is not enough. Mm. That's considered infertile, by the way. This boosts the sperm levels up dramatically as well. So another study showed that. And in this other study, it boosts testosterone as well by 23% again. And again, they used half a gram. Um, so, um, you know, incredible, mm. incredible stuff. Amazing. And for a, for, for a woman, still has yeah. great effects as well, again, for skin for muscle, you know, muscle um, development as well, and for the bone, as we said, the bone loss postmenopausally, yep. and also testosterone postmenopausally as well. Because what can happen when we, women, not some women, not me, so yeah, <laughs> get to that point in their life, uh, testosterone can drop off for a lot of women. It as does. Well. So, um, and then you have all the effects of that. So you have the fatigue, low sex drive, obviously um, muscle loss, mm. that type of thing. So you know, this can be really beneficial for women postmenopausally as well, uh, and even cycling women that may have low uh, testosterone, low DHEA yeah, due to yeah. high chronic stress, things yep. like that, can help to increase the DHEA levels. So there's no reason. I mean, you know, this is why I take the damn stuff mm. because it's great for all this sort of stuff and women should take it. Yeah, you know? definitely. I mean, it's great for all sorts of things. I mean, mm. bones, you said, your skin, everything. I mean, yeah. it's just a wonderful herb. Um so, you know, if you're out there and if you're looking for a herb to take for you as you're in your middle age, like mm. I am, not you, but I am. Yeah, not me. You know, I'm, not I'm quite there yet. on the wrong side of 50. You're under 50. I'm the Can right I say that? So I am on just under 50, yes. Just, just <laughs> I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm under, I am under 50, Steve. You are under 50. Yeah, under you 50. could be 23. That's under 50. That's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm, sure. not, I'm 54. <laughs> so, so for me, with all this stuff and for women, it's a great one to take as you age because mm. it – Big one for me really is the brain, all yeah. jokes aside. Yeah. You know, you start getting, you, you protecting your brain, that's absolutely remarkable. And that's mm. a review article. So there's lots of articles on shilajit for the brain. Yeah. So great for men, great for women, great for your brain, great for wrinkles, bones, muscles, mm. sperm, mm. Um, penises. Any inflammation that you're having. Yep. And the other thing that I, that as far as what it's made up shilajit, yep. it contains over 84 types of minerals, mm. including copper, zinc, iron, you know, your essential metals, things like that. So, I mean, how amazing is that? Well, that is amazing because on the periodic table is only 92 naturally occurring well, elements. There you go. So and it probably really doesn't contain uranium, which no. is number 92. No. So probably doesn't contain mercury, which is number 80. Yep. So I remember all the periodic table now from yeah. my days as a chemist. But, but, you know, isn't that remarkable? 84 yeah. different minerals. I yeah. mean, it's extraordinary because it comes from the earth. That's right. So yeah. can't it, get more rich nutrient. Yeah. Dense, you know, things than something that's come from the earth. Yep. Yeah. I think and I mean, amazing. I call it a herb, but it's not really technically sort well, it's of. It's more of a resin, yeah. isn't it? 
No, he's more of a resident. It's more yeah. of a brown actually date that squirts out of rocks. <laughs> sounds amazing. <laughs> We're selling <laughs> really, it here, aren't we? Really selling it. Yeah. Well, look, we don't I, focus on what it sounds like coming yeah. out of it. We just focus on the benefits it has when we take it. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Well, look, that is brilliant. Um, I'm going to keep taking this, and um, it's, a, it's a wonderful herb. So, mm. you know, if, if you're out there and you're thinking about wanting to improve any of those aspects of life, consider Chilliget. Definitely. And be careful how you pronounce it over the counter. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> been fantastic. It's better we've got time for. So, we'll yeah. see you all again next week. Yeah. Take Bye. care. Bye.